Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be talking about a possible new fastest way to rank up, but there are some extreme negatives to it. So I will explain as we get into the video here. So yeah, let's get into it here. Hope you guys are getting some fast snack masks. So anyway, I came across a Reddit post. Here is how to finish the scoreboard in less than two hours from Righteous Maximus. Thank you so much for this post, Righteous. Um, I'm going to link it in the description, and he goes into very good detail on how to do this. I'm just going to show you how to do it quick in the video, but he has made a very informative post, and uh, yeah, you should definitely check it out. Like I said, I will link it in the description. Thank you, Righteous Maximus. Two hours, he was saying, that you could finish this in. So I'm like, I'm going to have to test this. And what this involves is using, or I should say, crafting ignition cores. And that's these little things right here. You can craft them at a Tinker's uh, workbench. And you're going to be trying to craft a lot of them, basically, as many as you can. But there's a bit of a trick to it. And of course, you're going to want to have as many XP buffs going as possible. The amount of XP buffs you have going will determine the amount of uh, cores that you have to make each time that you do this. Because there's only a maximum of 4,000 XP you can get. So if you make more than that will get you 4,000, it's a waste if that makes any sense. So here's the ignition core cores it is a quest item i can't think of the top of my head what the name of the quest is where you get to do these or uh, create these i think it has to do in the uh in the ash heap with the uh, excavator if i'm not mistaken i'm sure it's fairly easy to to do that so you are able to craft these um i will put a link in the description for that as well and basically you can see i'm making 19 ignition cores here because that's the number that i found if i go and make 18 it's going to do less than uh, 4000 xp so Again, that was my number. It might not be your number because, like I said, you may not be using all the XP buffs as me. I'm using every one except the Mothman uh, Scarberry, and uh, I didn't give Leo um, a Cranberry. So I had every XP buff going except those, and I had to craft 19. So if you get those other ones going, you might have to craft 17 if that makes sense. So here we go. I figured I would craft as many as I could to rank me up one more time. So this isn't even a full rank up like once you're over level three or 400. I think the level caps like around then, maybe 500. But anyway, for this type of level, I like I said, it wasn't even a full level. I thought I would, you know, see how much it takes to get us there. So here we are, 7,201 now. And you do get some of the scrap back when you scrap these. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna do this. And I'm gonna show you the numbers right here. So. You will have a lot of them, and well, as many as you want to make anyway. But this is the negatives. Other than the fact that lead, you will not waste any lead. You will literally get all your lead back, but you will lose about 1,200 nuclear material um, if you're ranking up once, which it's going to be more. I would say about 1,500 nuclear material and probably 7,500 steel, to be honest. But that's how much I use not even ranking up a full level. So you can do this and it probably is fairly fast, but I still feel like West Tech is the better option. Like crafting Nuka grenades goes a long way, especially if you run West Tech with a couple of friends like I am here. You can see the amounts of XP that I'm getting is just ridiculous. And you're not wasting your materials. Like you're gonna go through steel so quick. Like I used what, 5,000 steel for like one level? So, like, if you want to go 10 levels, that's 50,000 steel. You want to go 20, it's 100,000 steel. Like, for 20 levels, you can go up 20 levels right now during double XP in an hour in West Tech solo with all the buffs going. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, West Tech's definitely still the winner in my opinion here, although this could be faster. It's extremely tedious. Um, another good place to throw a grenade I just wanted to throw in the video is at the White Springs uh, Resort here. If no one ever comes over, you always like going over there to throw a grenade. You can get a good amount of XP if you ever uh, come upstairs too quickly and the super mutants aren't there. I like to do that. So I just thought I would throw that in there. So my opinion is, is this is definitely not as good as West Tech. It's just way too tedious and wastes way too much um, material materials and let me know in the comments what you guys think everybody um i thought you would enjoy this video and thanks so much for watching have a great day